Hey, what's up guys? So you have a Hisense Smart TV, the Android TV version, and you have an issue where one of your apps is not working. It doesn't matter what app. It could be uh, YouTube, Netflix, uh, Vudu, Amazon Prime Video, Google Play. But basically you have an issue. Maybe it won't open, maybe it's frozen, maybe it keeps, maybe it keeps freezing, maybe you get like an error message, maybe you get a black screen when you're watching a movie or a uh, show, or maybe it's flickering black, or maybe you have audio issues. Maybe it's out of sync or the audio goes in and out. Or maybe you have no sound at all. Or maybe you have a black screen with just a sound. Or maybe the sound or the audio sounds funny. Or even maybe there's something you get a message that your Wi-Fi is not connected. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give you guys several, uh, seven solutions to get you up, up and running right now. By the end of this video, at least I'm going to say 80% of you guys should be up and running. Okay, so the first step here is make sure your TV is on and then wherever your um, TV is plugged in, I want you to pull the plug, okay? So while the TV is on, pull the plug. Wait 30 seconds, after 30 seconds is up, go ahead and plug it back in and then go ahead and open up your app and see if you are up and running. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so next step, again, with your TV on, pull the plug while the TV's on. Now, Go wherever your uh, your modem or your router is, okay? Now, for me, I have a modem and a router. Some of you guys may just have one unit with both in it, okay? Anyway, so if, if you have just one unit, I mean, just unplug it. If you have two, unplug them both, okay? So with it on right now, for example, you're basically resetting the modem, okay? So here's my modem here. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. I'm trying to do it with one hand here. Okay, unplugged. Also, unplug your router if you have one as well. Unplug that. Wait 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, go ahead and plug them back in. Now, go back and also plug in your TV. Go ahead and turn on your TV now. You may have to wait like one or two minutes, wait for your Wi-Fi to get connected and everything. And then once after like one or two minutes waiting, open up your app and see if you're up and running. If you're still down, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to do a system software update. So simply go ahead and grab your remote, make sure you tap on the uh, home button, tap on the home button, make sure you're on the screen here, and we wanna go directly to settings, which is that gear icon on the top right-hand side by the time. So just go up, up, and then go over to the right. Keep going over, there's settings, go ahead and click on okay on the remote. And then from here, you wanna go down to device preferences, right there. Okay, and then you wanna, select about and then go to system update right here now you want to go ahead and check for an update okay if you have an update you want to go ahead and proceed with a uh, go ahead and download and install it and then once it's done installing open up the app see if you're up and running okay obviously if your system is already up to date then you, you just need to skip this step all right so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to force stop uh, force stop your app and also uh, clear the uh, cache so uh, go back to your home screen and then you want to go to where it says apps so move over make sure apps is highlighted click on ok now what you want to do here is you want to go to the app that you were having problems with okay so for example let's say i had a problem with netflix here highlight netflix and then go ahead and tap on or uh, press and hold the ok button okay press and hold and then this menu here will pop up you want to go down to where it says info click on ok now from here we want to go down right here. Oops. We want to go down to force stop. So go ahead and click on OK. And then click on OK again. So we force stopped it, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to go down and we want to go to clear cache, okay? So go ahead and click on OK. OK again to clear the cache. Okay, there you go. Now just go back to your app, open it up, and see if it's working. If it's not working, then I want you to come back to this this area, the same area here. And this time what I want you to do is I want you to clear data, okay? So go to clear data, click on okay. And then just FYI, okay? Once you click on okay, you clear the data, you will have, if you had a sign in before, uh, with your sign in and your password before, if you have like Netflix or Amazon Prime Video, then you will have to sign in again, okay? So just go ahead and click on okay. And then go ahead and open up your app. You may have to sign in and use your password, okay? Anyway, hopefully you guys are up and running now. If you're not, we're gonna to go to the next solution. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna reset your picture settings. So again, go ahead and tap on the home button. Then you wanna to go to settings, okay? So go up, up, and then go all the way to the right. 
to the settings gear icon, click on OK, and then from we're going to go down here to device preferences, click on OK, and now we're going to go all the way down to where it says picture, right here, click on OK, and then from here you want to go all the way down to where it says reset the defaults, okay? Now, now this will fix, especially if you have a, um, like any kind of lines on the, on the screen when you're watching a video, or maybe you have like a black flickering screen when you're watching a show or a movie or just a black screen. Anyway, reset the defaults. This take is really quick. Just go ahead and okay that. Uh, do you want to reset all the picture? Yes, go ahead and click on okay. Give just like three seconds. There you go. Now go back into your app, open it up, and see if you're up and running, okay? If you're still down, then the next thing you wanna do is we wanna go back to the device preferences, and this time we're gonna to go to sound, okay? Click on sound. Now, especially if you have like um, out of sync issues or the sound is going in and out, or maybe you have no sound at all. Anyway, just go all the way down, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna reset the default. So this only takes like three seconds as well. Do you want to reset all? Yes, I do. This is for the audio sound. Click on yes. Give it like a few seconds. You can see a little toilet. Okay, we're done. Now go ahead and go back to your app, open it up, and see if you're up and running. If you're still down, then we're going to go to the last step here. Now, before we go to the last step, what I would recommend is start from the very beginning of the video and try every single step again, okay? And if it still doesn't work, then you can go to this last step here, which is basically a factory reset, which we're gonna erase everything on the TV. And once the factory reset is complete, it's gonna be as if you basically bought this TV brand new and took it out of the box and you had to start everything back over from the very beginning. You have to choose your language, your region, then you gotta put your, uh, you pick your Wi-Fi, input your Wi-Fi password and so on. Anyway, if you wanna, um, if second time around you're still down, then go ahead and Click on the home button and you want to go to settings again. So go to settings here. And then from here you want to go down to, again, device preferences. And then from here we're going to go all the way down to the very, very bottom where it says reset. Click on OK. Remember, this is going to reset everything. You're going to lose everything on here as if you bought it brand new and took it out of the box. If you want to proceed, you go down to reset. Click on OK and then go down here and, and uh, choose Erase Everything. Now, once you click, uh, choose Erase Everything, the whole factory reset, once everything um, is booted back up, usually takes like two or three minutes, okay? So if you want to proceed with the factory reset, you go with that. Anyway, right now, at least 80% of you guys should be up and running. If it worked for you, let me know what step worked for you or what step you think worked for you. And if it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. We should have at least 80% thumbs up. Good luck, guys.